Yesterday I did a little update on my Pelagic autopilot. Mike uh, from Scanmar has sent me a little update file and then you just take off the autopilot and you plug in a little cable and then you basically uh, update the software. It's super easy, super simple and because I was doing that I did another little project that I said I was gonna do like a long long time ago which is to swap around the compass and my Garmin instrument so that the autopilot is a little further away from the compass so the interference will hopefully be a little less because I don't know why but the autopilot kind of like was like doing a lot of this so maybe that had to do with the compass being too close to it so we'll see if this is getting better now. I just did a little walk through the deck and down below to make sure that everything is good for picking up anchor. So we're gonna head out today and just do a little jump to an island around the corner. It's in the south uh, east from here, about some 10 miles maybe. It's called Espiritu Santo. It's a really beautiful anchorage. It's really protected. And um, there's some beautiful beaches there. There's no internet, so we'll be off grid and uh, offline for a while, which will be a nice change as well. We're having a tiny little breeze, it's not a lot, maybe five to eight knots maximum, and it's coming from a good direction, so it'll be favorable for us, and I'm excited because I want to test out Carl's performance now that I have the new Total Boat bottom paint on, so I hope that he's gonna be performing super well and going super fast, and Here's our wind. I'm gonna pick up anchor and use it. <laughs> Everybody's got their anchor up. Time to move. Every time when I get on the way after having sat around for a while, I think that everything sounds weird. I think my engine sounds weird. I think like the, what's it called? The cavitation, like the bubbles that come up with the prop sound funny and I think that Carl's moving funnily. Oh, I just saw I forgot to close my anchor hatch, anchor chain hatch, anchor locker, lid, whatever it's called. Wow, we're doing four knots at 1200. We're super fast. That new bottom pane. Thanks, Total Boat. Already so much better. to do. <laughs> Doing. 
luckily it's deep enough. <laughs> Okay, it looks like my autopilot update did not go so well. Hopefully uh, Mike will have a solution to me. Uh, I'm gonna roll out the Genoa for now and see what the wind is doing. Just when you get your sail out, the wind drops down. Okay, engine is off. We have uh, 5.6 knots of wind coming on our aft quarter. So I just have the Genoa out. We're doing 1.7. Honking. Honking, I'm telling you. Kind of on course. Okay, we have 2.2 uh, knots of wind, of no wind. <laughs> We're doing 1.2. That's probably just current. <laughs> There you go. Okay, this was fun, but unfortunately we're gonna hit land. And now we're driving, so. <laughs> Let's uh, take the Genoa back on the other side. I think my GoPro just had a heat stroke, so you missed all my cool maneuvers. I think I'm gonna have a heat stroke fairly soon as well. But right now we're sailing beautifully with the wind from behind. Unfortunately, I cannot sail wing on wing, which would be the best. But then I get too close to land right now. I'm like sailing 175, no, 165 degrees. And the wind picked up to six knots. We're doing 2.1. Honking. And there's a reef in front of me, so I need to go as much downwind as I can. Hear that, Carl? Jana's gonna stay at the fish market tonight because she still needs some internet. Nice! The wind came around a touch and we're back to sailing wing on wing. Yay! We want to go... This is Isla del Rey and we're going to go around that point. We're going to leave those islands on our... Woo! Steering. We're going to leave those islands on our port side. Beautiful! 3.6 knots, we're picking up some speed. We did a little jive here, took over the main, so went from the wing on wing to a, a normal sail setup, I guess. And it seems that I can make it down that corner. Nice. Four point one. Racing girl! It's not 
not the same as it was the last time I was here there were hedges and cars there were people in their homes we have another probably four miles to go time to check what the tide will be at when we arrive Through the fall. For checking the tides, I use Navionics usually. And then I go to the closest tide information point. So right now, we have another meter to go down. And we're about an hour before low tide. All right, so we'll get there at the lowest, which is great, because then you can see any rocks or anything. And then also if you scan, then you're scanning at the worst time right so it's a little easier to pick your spot rather than constantly having to measure when you're scanning and like subtracting whatever you need to subtract well 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 the wind is now completely coming out and the Genoa is just not doing anything anymore and we're kind of like getting between the one island and the other one now so I don't really want to go wing and wing and play around too much because it's kind of narrow so I think I'm gonna roll it in might not be so good sailing closed hauled but he's surely not bad sailing downwind with his little twin kills ooh, ooh. sailing downwind with no autopilot and doing stuff at the same time is always a bit tricky on Carl because he is not a very course stable boat well, the wind has calmed down quite a bit. We're down to three to five knots of wind and one and a half knots of speed. And I rolled the Genoa in and it's just magical. It's so beautiful. The sun is like sparkling on the tips of the little ripples on the water. It's completely quiet. You just hear the the tidal current like rushing out of the rocks a little bit on shore and there's tiny little beaches everywhere because it's uh, nearly low tide and it, it's just beautiful i'm so glad we lifted anchor and got to move on i don't know why i always get stuck in places i mean I d it feels good too but then i think sometimes i linger too long and and when you do move, it's just amazing. It's so beautiful. At high tide so basically uh, 12 times 5 so I'm gonna put out 60 meters of chain probably 65 between 60 and 70 we'll see Sail. I nearly 
really did get a sunstroke though. So I need to sit down in the shade now for a second. I have my echo mirror. Cheers. And then I'm gonna take care of getting Carl ready for anchor time.